Hello, this is Virgil Labrador, Editor-in-Chief of Satellite Markets and Research, and we're here in Communication in Singapore with uh, Drew Brandy. He's the uh, Vice President of Industry for Inmarsat. It's a global mobile satellite company. And Stefano Poli. He's the uh, Director of Commercial Development of their Global Express program. So here to talk about their new product that uh, they're launching here in Asia. We'll start with Drew. Uh, I understand you have a new product uh, that you are highlighting at the show, Drew. Can you talk about that a little bit? That's absolutely fine. Yes, we're launching our HDR service. This is our high data rate streaming service that will be available from Q4 this year. There's a new terminal that will be available um, from Cobham, the E710. Uh, the Explorer terminal will deliver speeds up to approximately 650 kilobits per second. It's a radical step forward in the world mm -hmm. of streaming. Mm -hmm. It's taking our existing capability um, of our being an extreme service and really building on that. And when we see the new codec introduced uh, early in 2014, H.265, we expect the uh, performance that you'll see um, to be in excess of one megabit in terms of the streaming quality. So we're quite excited right. uh, to see what this offers the broadcasters and to be able to bring this new capability to the market. So are you targeting mainly just the broadcasters for this one or does it have other applications? Not just broadcasters. I mean, obviously, um, broadcasters tend to be some of the uh, more um, prolific users mm -hmm. of, our, of our service, particularly with regards to streaming. Mm -hmm. But we also expect our government customers mm -hmm. and other sectors to equally take advantage of this for um, video conferencing, um, for any sort of video surveillance or, or live video requirements that they have. And increasingly, we're seeing a lot more use of uh, streaming in the marketplace. Right. Thank you, Drew. Uh, now we'll go to Stefano. You know, one of the hot topics now is your Global Express. It's uh, very much anticipated. I was, uh, I chaired a session yesterday at the uh, Communication Satellite Summit, and uh, the discussions were on high throughput satellites, K band satellites, and obviously this is one of the, uh, like I said, most anticipated products. So give us a brief overview, uh, Stefano. How, how does that work, and uh, when will it be launched? Okay, certainly, Virgil. Uh, Global Express is a 1.2 billion dollar. Uh, fully funded investment project mm -hmm. that will offer global seamless uh, uh, connectivity mm -hmm. at a speed up to 50 megabits per second mm -hmm. and uh, it will be supported by a constellation of three satellites that will be based on a spot beam technology mm -hmm. only operating the KA band spectrum mm -hmm. and uh, they will deliver services to the to users in the um, government, maritime, enterprise, and aviation sectors. Right, right. Well, this sounds like, a, you know, pardon me for mentioning uh, one of your competitors, but this sounds like that O3B constellation, all well, KA band. But this is GEO, right? Right. The, first of all, this is GEO. Right. Uh, this is a geo uh, three geostationary satellites. Right. It is global, so right. it does cover um, globally the, the, the herd. Right, right. Well, um, O3B as a as a limited coverage with respect to uh, to Global Express. Right. So you said three satellites. So when will the first one be launched? The first one is will be launched by the end of this year. Right. And, and the, the, the next, next two? two next year we will reach global coverage by end of next year. Right. Right. Okay. So which market will it first hit? The first satellite. Well, the first satellite is going up, is going up on the IOR region, mm -hmm. which is uh, Europe. Uh, Africa, Middle East, uh, Eastern Europe, uh, part of Asia. Right. Now, this new product, Drew, does this uh, work with also this new constellation that you're planning, the Global no. Express? Um, the service that Stefano is referencing, our Global Express service, mm -hmm. um, is delivered on the KA band satellite. Right. The HDR service um, is part of the BGAM portfolio right. and is delivered across our, our L band. Uh, right. spectrum, which is our I-4 satellites, our existing generation of satellites. Is there complementarity with uh, this? Uh... Um, well, what we see longer term is that there'll be the opportunity to provide services mm -hmm. to customers across both satellites, both constellations. Um, as, as Stefano had mentioned, mm -hmm. we are going to be focused on a number of market segments, right. um, and those market segments are relevant to both technologies. And so certainly one of the benefits we have um, with our global coverage, mm -hmm. with both L-band and KA-band, mm -hmm. is we will have the ability to be able to provide diversity and multiple solutions to our customer base. I think that truly differentiates us as a satellite operator right. and is something that others aren't able to right. do. Now, Stefano, how's the uh, uh, 
reaction so far from the market? How much of the capacity have you pre-sold for the first satellite in the Indian Ocean region? Okay. Well, uh, in the year 2012, we signed a, some, a number of technology and business uh, commercial agreements, distribution agreements, um, which uh, underpins uh, the success of Global Express and its fast rollout mm -hmm. when we'll launch the first satellite. Mm -hmm. At this time, uh, we can estimate that about between 20 to 25 percent of the cumulative revenue of the Global Express program right. for um, for the first five years are right. either committed or in the network. Right. And of those markets that you mentioned, you mentioned maritime, uh, government, government, enterprise, enterprise and aviation. And aviation. Which is the most, uh, let's say, most promising of those? Well, if you would rank them. I I, I would say that. Um, we're really bullish. Well, first of all, Maritime is the core business for Imarsat, mm -hmm. and we're extremely bullish also for aviation. Mm -hmm. But enterprise and government will play a very strong role in our um, in our system as well. Right. Well, that's a good overview, Drew and uh, Stefano. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, any final thoughts? Well, I just say that um, it's a really exciting year for us at Imarsat. We've got two satellite launches taking place this year. We mm -hmm. haven't touched upon AlphaSat, but that takes place first, mm -hmm. um, and as well as the introduction of several new services. So the future looks quite bright for us in terms of um, our ability to serve our customers going forward. Right. Well, there you have it. Uh, something to uh, look forward to: the Global Express launch and uh, other new products from Imarsat. And from here in Singapore, this is Virgil Labrador reporting. And for all the news and information on the global satellite industry, you always have satellite markets and research at www.satellitemarkets.com. Thank you.